Hey everybody, my name is Cooper, and today we're going to be looking at Animal Crossing. And uh, I have some good memories of uh, this one here for the GameCube, and the GameCube is actually the first system that I bought with my own money, and I bought it for Animal Crossing specifically. And so my first memories of the game are uh, going to one of my friend's houses, and I guess it was technically my mom's friend's son who had the game. Um, he was a little bit younger than me, but I would always go over there to hang out, and I was probably, I don't know, 10, 11, somewhere around that age, maybe a little bit older. But um, he had he had Animal Crossing for the GameCube, and we played it for like three days straight. And whenever I'd go over there, I'd stay for two or three nights because um, it was kind of far from where my parents lived, so I'd stay for a little while, and we played that game like the entire time. And it was so much fun, I loved it. His mom had another GameCube with Animal Crossing set up in her bedroom and she was playing it the whole time. So everyone was really into the game and it got me really excited. And so I was there for a couple days and then I went back home and I started saving my money uh, to buy a GameCube to get Animal Crossing. And it got to the point where I was saving for like a month, which, you know, kids don't really make that much money so it took me forever. but. By the time I had enough money for the game, I went to Game Crazy and I bought the game before I even had the GameCube system. And because I was so set on getting that game, that was the first game and the only game at that point that I was planning on getting. So when I had enough money, I bought the game before I even had the system. So I opened the game and I was reading the manual and I was looking at the game and I was planning out like, you know, what I was going to do and I was thinking back to playing with my friend at his house and just remembering how much fun it was and I couldn't wait to get the system so I could actually play the game that I had purchased. And um, I went to my grandma's house up in Seattle and I remember we went to either a Game Crazy or a Game Stop, I don't remember which one it was because it was so long ago, but um, by the time I went up there it was a couple weeks after I had purchased the game, so I had a little bit more money saved up, and that was going towards buying the system. And my grandma actually put put in the rest of the money needed to buy a used GameCube uh, from the store, and so that, with the money that I had, um, we actually got the GameCube system, and then I also got Wario World to go with it, but I had brought Animal Crossing with me. Uh, on the trip because I was pretty sure that I was going to be getting a GameCube while I was up there. So I was staying with my grandma and um, she kind of let me do whatever I wanted so I hooked up the game, the new GameCube I got to her TV and pretty much played it non-stop while I was up there. And then of course when I got back, uh, when I got back to my parents house, hooked up in my room and I played it all the time and I loved it. It's a great game but I think that the Wii version is a little bit better in my opinion. Um, there's just a little bit more to do, a little more variety to the game. Um, I'm not too much of a handheld gamer, so I haven't really gotten into Wild World or New Leaf or even uh, the newer ones for the Wii U or the 3DS. Those ones don't seem too interesting to me. But uh, these two here are really great. And um, another thing I remember, um, and this is actually related to that GameCube that I bought, but not to Animal Crossing, but I thought I'd just throw this in there. Um, I used to play Smash Brothers all the time, which is another great game, and um, I was trying to save up uh, like the coins um, for the lottery or whatever it is. I can't remember exactly what it is, but um, you get some sort of coins or something um, for doing tons of stuff in the game. And what I would do is I would put it on, I'd put put the game on two player, two player multiplayer with. Um, two controllers plugged in, and I would tape one of the joysticks to the side, and I would put it on 99 lives, and I would set that up so that I could leave it there, and one of the characters would continuously walk off the edge for a 99 life match. And it would take forever for that to complete, but I would do that, and I would leave it on when I went to school. So by the time I got home, the GameCube had been on for like seven hours, but I had accumulated a bunch of coins, and uh, I used those to get the trophies or whatever it is, but um, that was funny. And I used to, it was in my room, and my mom was a stay-at-home mom, so sometimes she'd be like, 
bringing in laundry or something, and I didn't, I didn't want her to know that the GameCube was on, so I would turn the TV off, and I'd put, like, a book or something on top of the GameCube so you couldn't see the little orange light. And, uh, yeah, so that's how, that's how I got a lot of the stuff in Smash Brothers Unlocked, but... But yeah, Animal Crossing is, uh, one of my favorite GameCube games, and even the Wii version is one of my favorite Wii games. They're both really fun. Um, my girlfriend's been playing New Leaf and she really enjoys that, so I'm going to take her word for it and agree that that's probably a great game too. If you guys haven't played Animal Crossing, I'd highly recommend it. Um, it's not hard in any sense. A little kid can play it, but it's also fun for, you know, anyone else. I enjoy the game a lot. And there's a lot of stuff you can do. You can customize tons of stuff. And in the GameCube version, at least, I don't know about the other ones, but in the GameCube version, you can you can get like a little Nintendo NES system for your house, and it'll have a game in it that you can actually play, like an entire game. You can play uh, Balloon Fight or uh, I think Donkey Kong Junior Math and Excite Bike, and I think maybe Clue Clue Land and maybe something else, but. Excitebike is my favorite NES game, so it's cool to have that built into Animal Crossing and be able to access that and play that without, you know, having to hook up an NES and deal with all that. So, very awesome game, and check it out if you guys haven't played it. And thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.